Hello friends, this video on Vector Algebra Part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 to Part 18. So let's take some example. We have to find the angle between the two vectors A and B with magnitudes 3 and 2. And we are told that A dot B is equal to 6. So I know that A dot B vector is nothing but magnitude of A into magnitude of b into cos theta. Correct. So a dot b is 6 given. We have to find the angle between these two where magnitude of a and b is given 3 and 2. So magnitude of a is 3. b is 2 into cos theta. 3 into 2, 6 cancel. So cos theta is equal to cos theta is equal to 1 So please theta is equal to 0 degree. and that is the answer. So that means both are in the same direction. So I have this vector A and vector B both are in the same direction, exactly same direction. There is no angle between them. Thus 3 into 2 is equal to 6. Correct. This guy is 3, this guy is 2. You multiply these two, you get vector AB, A dot B that is 6. In fact, you won't get any vector because you multiply these two, you get a scalar quantity that is 6. Let's take one more example. We need to find the angle between the vector two vectors. So to find the angle between two vectors, what we can do is I have A, I have B. I know that A dot B is nothing but magnitude of A into magnitude of B into cos theta. Correct. Since A and B is given, let's suppose this is A, this is B. I can find a dot b also. I can find magnitude of a. I can find magnitude of b. Then I can easily find cos theta. So let's find a dot b first. So a dot b is nothing but i minus 2j plus 3k dot 3i minus 2j plus k. i into i is 1. 3 into 1 is 3. And other will be 0. I know. So I will not take that. Minus 2 into minus 2 is 4 plus 4, 3 into 1 is 3 plus 3. That is still. So I dot A dot B I have. Next I have to find magnitude of A. Magnitude of A is nothing but root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. That is 1 square plus, sorry, minus 2 square plus 3 square. 1 minus 2 and 3. This is nothing but root of 1 plus 4 plus 9. That is root 14. Let's find magnitude of B. Magnitude of B will be root of 3 square plus minus 2 square plus 1 square. 3 square plus minus 2 square plus 1 square. That's again 9 plus 4 plus 1. That's again root 14. Correct. So I have magnitude of A, magnitude of B and I have A dot B also. So let's put everything in this equation. A dot B is 10 is equal to magnitude of A root 14. Magnitude of B root 14 into cos theta. So with this if you solve cos theta is 10 by 14 that is 5 by 7. So I get theta is nothing but cos inverse 5 by 7 and that is the answer. So finding this was not difficult because I knew vector A and B. I knew how to find A dot B. I can find magnitude of A. I can find magnitude of B and I can find cos theta. Correct. Let's take some examples on projection. We have to find the projection of vector i minus j on vector i plus. So let's assume this guy is vector a and this guy is vector b. Correct. So I have this vector a and I have this vector b. I have to find projection of a on b, right? So magnitude of this will be what? The angle is theta, let's suppose. Magnitude of this will be in this direction a cos theta. Correct. And direction will be b vector by mod of b. This is nothing but a dot b vector by magnitude of b. Please note, projection of a on b is a dot b by b vector. Correct. So here I have to find projection of a on b. This guy is a, this guy is b. So in such kind of question, just first put which is a vector, which is b vector. That makes your life simple. Then we can say that projection of a on b, b is 
a dot b by magnitude of b. So we have to just find a dot b. A dot b will be this guy i minus j dot i plus j divided by magnitude of b. That is magnitude of this. That is root of one square plus one square. Correct? Because magnitude of b is nothing but root of one square plus one square. So this is the projection vector, right? So I'll write b projection is this guy. So this is nothing but i minus this guy is i i into i is one, and minus one into minus one is again minus one by root two that is zero. So it's a zero vector actually. This is a vector zero vector. Correct. So in this case, when you project this guy on this guy, you get a zero vector. If the question would happen, the find the projection of vector this guy on this, then we have to tell a dot b by mod of a. I hope you understand this projection of a on b, projection of a on b. Is not equal to projection of B on A. Both are different. The magnitude, both are different actually. So when you the direction is different actually. The both in this case and magnitude will also be different. So in this case it will be A dot B by B magnitude and in this it will be A dot B by magnitude of A. Both are different. So let's take one more example. We have to find the projection of this vector i plus 3j plus 7k on vector 7i minus j plus 8k. So again, let's say this guy is a and this guy is b. So we have to find projection of a on b. So just now we have derived this. This is nothing but a dot b by magnitude of b. Correct. This is my vector. A B A on B. Let's suppose. So we know A, we know B. We don't know B uh, magnitude of B. Let's find magnitude of B first. So this becomes root of seven square, seven square plus minus one square plus eight square. Correct. So this becomes root of what forty nine plus one plus eight square is sixty. Oh, that is root of one one. So I got the magnitude of vector. So let's put this in this formula. A dot B will be i plus three j plus seven dot seven i minus j plus eight k vector by magnitude of B is root of one one. So this becomes i into one into seven is seven plus three into minus one is minus three plus Seven into minus eight is minus fifty six. Correct, but this is a plus here actually. So seven into eight is plus fifty six. Correct. By root one one. This is nothing but fifty six and plus four sixty. Sixty by root one one. So this guy is the projection of this vector. On this vector, and there will be some direction also. Correct. The direction of this will be same as the direction of vector B because we are projecting A on B, and that is my answer. Thank you. Visit examfear. dot com to. Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.